money. I'm, I've got money in the closet. So I don't want your money. It's a shoebox. It's in a stack. Just take it. I'm good, but thank you. Now, what do you want? My parents. My parents are rich. Left me a lot of money when they died. I thought it would buy my attention. They did. Is that what you want? Attention? Yes. But you have it. If I let you go, you'll call the cops. And I'll lose it. Don't you have a family or something? I you got some friends. High expectations and having everything at my hand and losing it all. Because once you have everything, you have nothing. You said you were rich? Except for my mother. She was always good to me. You know, you don't have to do this. <laughs> That's funny. They always say that. What? You don't have to do this. You don't? Why? Because I have your attention? No, but because I have a family. I've got two kids. Don't worry about this. Are you gonna kill me? No. This is just the light of the moon. How about we call it a night? Ah, shit. What? Forgot to turn off the sprinkler. Hey, I won't hurt anybody. There goes my water bill. Oh. Uh, have you been getting enough rest? Yeah. Why? You look tired. I'm getting by. Well, uh, remember to stop by the house on the way back, alright? Alright. Yeah. See for yourself. Can we get a light over here, please? Third one, past few months. See that? Yeah, what about it? Take the knife, put it on the floor after you finish instead of taking it with him. You just got fingerprints on it? If it's the same person as the others, I doubt it. Maybe he wears gloves. Looks like he stabbed her in the neck first. How do you know? Well, there's no signs of struggle. 
If she was alive when he cut her hands off, there'd be skid marks on the floor, marks on her back and wrists from holding her down. It looks like he stabbed her in the neck first, then cut off her hands. Were there any ropes? No. The question is why, not how. He didn't take your hands to torture her. He took him to take him. He's never taken the weapon before, and that's assuming if it's the same guy. Chances are this could be a copycat. Only time will tell. We'll send a knife to forensics. And hopefully an autopsy will show us more of how she was killed. You ready? Yeah. Well, and uh, just to make sure the crime scene got everything photographed, right? You got it. Alright, awesome. Where to now? Your place. Uh, right. James. <laughs> James. What? Come here. Are you taking drugs now or something? Shut up. Junkie. Not a junkie, I'm an alcoholic. Big difference. You serious? No. Just messing with you. Alright, well we should probably head back to the police station. 